Look, um, in the Iranian regime, nobody's happier with these protests on campuses than the Iranian regime, right? And they've even come out. Right? The foreign minister uh, Khamenei himself, right? The Ayatollah came out on his official X page. Yeah, who knew? And uh, praises the protesters, and they talk about the oppression that the, the and, and the violent tactics of the police, right, in suppressing protests, which is which is crazy when you think about what the Iranian regime has done to anybody who dares protest inside Iran. Yeah, but, they, they executed but, yeah. a world champion wrestler over there. Yeah, they, 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 constantly, right? And they're, they're, they're trampling of all rights, not just women's rights, everybody's rights, right? So, so it's bullshit, but people, you know, I don't know, people buy it. I they, don't know they only how. have a yeah. peripheral understanding of the yeah. workings, Yeah. So the inner workings of all this stuff. But then the Russians and the Chinese, they're all taking advantage of this as well, right? Chinese bots have been out there trolling around and, and promoting um, the chaos, right? If you were to switch on uh, television, right, in, in Moscow or, or in Tehran or, or in Beijing, you'll get a lot of coverage of these campus protests, right? This is, a, this is ideal for them. It's exactly what they want. And it feeds into their larger narrative of trying to um, discredit democracy and say what a, what a losing system it is, right? Capitalism. And so, you know, but, but again, people are incurious. They're busy. They're trying to just do their lives, whatever. They're not taking the time to sit and think, where am I getting my information from? What's right. the validity of this information? And if they don't do that, you know, then to your earlier point, yeah, we're fucked. Yeah. Because it comes down to individual responsibility. You got to focus on where your information is coming from. And, you know, right now, um, you know, you could argue, I mean, that the, the, whether it's the face sw uh, swapping techniques, whether it's AI that, that can mimic, and whether it's for criminal purposes or whether it's for state-sponsored efforts to try to, to, to uh, put the knife in into the American system or, or the West, um, you know, we are, it's, it's democratized misinformation, right? It's made it so that everybody can engage in it, not just state sponsors, but everybody, because all those apps are out there, all the abilities out there, and you've got an incurious public for the most part that, that doesn't take the time. And an uninformed public. They did, yeah. Most of them are not even aware that there's foreign elements that have an influence on our culture. Yeah, which is... Weird. Which is shocking if you think about it, right? It's shocking, but, but so few people are aware of anything other than what's going on in their own life and what's going on at work. Well, life is messy and it's tough and yeah. you're trying to raise kids and, and you know, you're trying to you you know, put food on the table. You don't have time. And I talk to yeah. some of my friends about this stuff and their eyes glaze over. Yeah. They don't even want to yeah. know. I'm busy, bro. Yeah, but you know what it does? It, I mean, look, look at the state of, look how dysfunctional we are right now, right? I mean, this is, this is remarkable, you know, times. And again, everybody wants to think it's always the worst time, right? It's not the worst time, right? We've had worse times. Civil War, I think, was pretty bad. Um, you know, so we've had more dysfunction, I suppose, at times, but the technology speeds it along, right? And, 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 and we, you know, we just have more people, so the, the potential for more of a shit show is there, but... Um, that is ultimately when people always talk about well how do you how do you you can't you can't just use detection you can't be on the defensive all the time trying to identify okay that's fake that's fake that's fake right you got to rely on people right to say uh, you know what i'm not going to buy everything i read right i'm going to pay attention and i'm going to think about it a little bit and i'm going to i'm going to chill the fuck out and but it's not, it's not in human nature, apparently, right now. So, yeah, we've got a problem. And those nations, particularly Iran, China, and Russia, are having a field day right now, right? This is, we're, we are making it very easy for them. And think about it. we got the fucking election coming up in November. Yeah. So think about what that means in terms of disinformation. And it's, yeah, it's, it's remarkable. I, we, I, we live in a very interesting time. Uh, I think we're going to be fine. It's a very resilient environment, I suppose. But So I try to be positive. But It's fraught yeah. with peril. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, let me ask you this from a perspective of someone kind of understands all these different influences and all the things that are happening in these universities. What can be done to sort of like unwind some of this fuckery, mm. if anything, at this point? I mean, are we just going to operate from here on out with this understanding that our kids get indoctrinated to this preposterous, ridiculous way of thinking where they're taught these Marxist, Leninist ideas as if they make any fucking sense and that they've ever worked anywhere and if they don't always lead to totalitarian, authoritative governments that 
take over and yeah. enforce all these socialist policies, which is a fucking nightmare that happens in every single regime. Yeah when yeah. they go socialism yeah so how what can be done to sort of like unwind some of this bullshit in colleges and balance it out a little bit like there's nothing wrong with having ridiculous ideas as long as those ridiculous yeah. ideas can be challenged but if you're the only one that gets to talk right and you just indoctrinate these kids and no one comes along and says hey you've never even functioned in the fucking real world yeah. like this shit that you're teaching these kids Unless they go into academia, they're fucked. Yeah. Or you're going to ruin corporations with this ideology because it just it doesn't jive with capitalism. It doesn't jive with and oh yeah, we got to tear capitalism down. Okay, well then what, you <laughs> then fucking what, idiots? Yeah, then yeah. no one has any incentive to get anything done. Yeah. Well, that's great for you because you've never done anything. Yeah. So you think all these people that did things, even if you don't agree with them, even if it's Bill Gates. He still built that fucking company. Right, That's right, his. Right. He did it. Do you want to be that guy? Then go do what he did. If you don't like what he did, then you know, you can talk about it. You can protest about the idea that you should. everyone should have to give all their money away, and there should be yeah. no billionaires, and there should be no capitalism, and all the money goes into... And then who who's in charge? And who gets to tell you what you can do and not do? Yeah. Who gets to tell you you can't have your money anymore? Who gets to take your house away because <laughs> it's too big? Shut the fuck up. Right. This is like so short-sighted and so stupid that it's so hard for me to believe that it's being taught in universities. Look at this. Whoa! Boom. Look how they're sliding all over the place. I mean, that is fucking ice. Yeah. That guy can't stop his car. Look. Look, he's just going to slide in that car behind him. This is oh ridiculous. Is that he can't stop it. Oh, shit. Boom! And, and that car's going. sliding. They're all sliding. The whole thing is ice.